Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're all doing well. Today I've got an American Pale Ale for you. It's an American Pale Ale from uh, Electric Bear Brewing Company. It's a can of their drifting American Pale Ale. Electric Bear coming out of Bath here in the UK. This one's coming in at 4.2% ABV in a 440ml can. Picked this one up in Marks and Spencers. I think I paid, it was either £3 or £3.50. I can't remember exactly now. So yeah, drifting American Pale Ale, 4.2% ABV, ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops and yeast. No flavour text to speak of, but it's a very colourful can. This one really jumped off the shelf at me, so I had to pick it up. And it's in a good proper wrap as well on the can, so a bit of quality there. So without any further waffling, let's get this 4.2% ABV American Pale Ale out of the can. Let's see if it's any good. Bit of an aroma as I crack the can there, citrusy. Actually, pours certainly pale. The colour of that, very pale looking ale. Let's get all of that out. Oh yes. See that there, so we can see it. I do like that can. Nice bit of artwork. So there is this pale ale. Pale is definitely the word. You're um, slightly hazed to it. Only slight though. You see most of the way through that. Um, decent enough levels of carbonation on it. It's got a solid sort of two finger fluffy white head on that one. Let's get an aroma. Sweet citrus on the aroma. Really sweet. There's almost like a, a berry influence there as well. Lemony, lime, orange. Could almost kind of smell sort of a bit of strawberry. Raspberry on it almost. That smell quite sweet. On the aroma. Really is fruity. This one. Really fruity, sweet aroma. Not picking up a lot else, if I'm honest. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. And quite sweet on the flavour as well. Just turn that off. Quite sweet on the flavour as well. Quite citrusy. Quite zesty. Um, decent levels of carbonation on it. Well carbonated this one. Quite a thin body to it. Yeah, lemon, lime, orange. A little bit of grapefruit. Not much though. And there is a, a slightest bit of sort of berry sweetness that I'm picking up on this. Really quite ripe. Very subtle, almost strawberry like flavour to it. I'm not sure what that is. But very citrusy, very fresh, very drinkable. Slight bit of hoppiness at the back end, bit of bitterness there. Very thin body. Light, fresh, pretty drinkable, smashable. Definitely sessionable at 4.2% ABV as well. Um, it's pleasant. It's quite a pleasant, this one. Uh. Yeah, fruity, citrusy, crisp, refreshing. Slight bitterness at the back end. It's nice. It's not blowing my mind, but it's nice. Uh, this is my first beer I've had from Electric Bear. Um, so I'll be interested to see what other beers they do, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, put this one up in MS and say it's the first one I've seen from these guys, but it's decent enough. Yeah, on a day like today where the sun's out and uh, you want to get outside and um, Enjoy a bit of it. This is uh, the type of, type of beer you might fancy. It's got a good bit of citrus to it. A little bit of hoppy bitterness at the back end. Drinkable, light bodied. Um, it's easily one of the, one of the more sessionable, beer, sessionable beers I've had for a while. It's nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'd pay £3 or £3.50 or wherever it was for a can of this again. Uh, I'd drink it again. I wouldn't mind having this on, trying this on cask or something. If I saw it in a pub somewhere, I'd, I'd, I'd like to have a go on it. 
Uh, I'm not sure I'd pay that money for the can again, but it's okay. Um, all in all, it's just above average, I think. I'm going to give that, um, I think I'll give that a six, six and a half out of ten. So six and a half would be nice. Six and a half out of ten for Electric Bear Brewing Company's Drifting American Pale Ale. Available in Mark Suspenses. Um, yeah, six and a half out of ten, I'll give that one. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. If you pick it up, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, guys. Till my next one, you take care.